TAGIT stands for the Technical Association of the Graphic Arts. It's a recognized student organization that is run as a small non-for-profit business in Clem Hall. One of the things we've done for our hospitality students is we've developed a restaurant. So our students run this restaurant. They manage the restaurant, they serve in the restaurant, they plan the meals for the restaurant, they interact with the customers that are in the restaurant, and so they get the experience that they're going to have when they get out of school while they're in school, and they get to integrate all of the things that they have learned, the theories, into a practical application serving people. The German Efficiency Badge is a cultural awareness program that ROTC uses that we integrate with the German Army and work together to be able to not only work fit, physical fitness, but to learn each other's cultural differences. The Strategic Management Consulting Project in the Strategic Management course allows students to take what they're learning in the classroom and apply it in the real world in very tangible ways with real live companies that are out there in eastern Illinois. It is an experience that the students would not have the opportunity to take part in outside of the classroom, especially with all of the other classwork that they have. Integrative learning focuses on challenging students to make connections between their personal lives, their academic and their professional lives, and to do it through a very intentional and, and purposeful way. And it also encourages students to um, make connections so in all of those aspects of their lives, and then also and to, um, their, to all of their classes. So thinking about how, how all of their classes connect and relate to one another, and then how their classes relate to some of their outside of classroom experiences. And then to take what they're learning in the class and apply it to new and complex situations. And then also to take what we've learned outside the classroom and kind of bring that back, some of that information back. Integrative learning has been around for a long time. And so we used to look at integrative learning from freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, and look at the integration of classes up. And then we looked at integration of learning across disciplines, making sure that all those things fit together. But now we're looking at integrating the academics and the social and the personal things of students into the academics. And so integrative learning is really taking all the things that students do and integrate them into their academics. Integrative learning to me is a way to uh, break what would we consider as being traditional instruction in the classroom. Instead of having a student learn math just for learning the sake of math, you're teaching them how to actually use that math across a variety of different disciplines, different areas, helping the students be able to see those connections across any of the different areas that they may end up working in in the future. Integrative learning is developing the self to uh, be a well-rounded person. It enables students to be able to reach those connections between the classroom, uh, uh, RSOs, and work that they do outside of the university to be able to uh, well-round themselves mentally, physically, and emotionally. One of the things we've done with our nutrition students to give them a real-world experience is that we have looked at Portion. And we did a video called Portion Size Me where our students went out, they ate fast food for 30 days, we recorded what they did, we made a video out of it. Uh, since then, we've done some more uh, studies on fast food and we've gone to fast food restaurants that have huge portions and we've taught people how to bring enough people with them to cut that huge portion down to a portion that's right for them. And that gives students real world experience they can use when they graduate. Uh, one of the projects we do in strategic management is have the students do a consulting project for an outside company. So it's not a case simulation, it is a real live project with a real live organization out there in the community. So the students have to go out, get a consulting client, and do a strategic management consulting project for them. Now I give them the tools, the templates, to do the analysis, to come up with recommendations and implementation plans, but they are actually out there working with the client, discussing with them, learning in a real life application what we're talking about in, in the classroom. So they get this really real world experience while they're still students. 
TAGA is a recognized student organization here on Eastern Illinois University's campus. It was founded back in 2000 by a couple of my predecessors. The idea was to not only promote learning, knowledge of um, printing and related processes, but my predecessors also had the idea of creating a tool for students to get some real world experience and to be able to apply some of the knowledge and information that they had learned in the classroom, outside of the classroom. So it's now operated as a small non-for-profit business right outside of Clem Hall. The benefits of uh, integrative learning are many. I would say that the most important benefit is simply that it better trains them to be effective people in their fields while they're in school. Instead of just getting all the data and the information and then sending them out trying to apply it when they get out, they get to try and apply it while they're here and be able to reflect on it, critique it, and then learn from their mistakes before they get into the world. We have gotten very good feedback. Students have told us they're very appreciative of the experiences that they've had with us and that the kinds of experiences that we've given them closely align with the work world. And I think one of the things that's contributed to that is that we have a number of kind of teaching learning laboratories within our college. So for example, we have the Securities Analysis Center, we have computer laboratories, uh, we have the School of Technology laboratories and equipment, um, the Foods Lab, the Child Development Labs. We have all of these laboratories that give students the opportunity to really um, get hands-on experience and, and they take that with them then when they go out into the work world. One of the success stories we have with uh, our nutrition students, the two students that were in the Portion Size Me video have now gone on, they are married, they have children, they're in the field of dietetics, and they're using the things that they learned in that video that we filmed in Portion Size Me to help them be more successful dietitians in the hospital. Well, one individual I can think of, I get emails from time to time in regards to students asking for assistance, asking for help in job placements, and one individual had asked me for assistance on a particular software program, but she told me her story, and one of the stories, or in this story that she had told me was that she never thought that anything she was going to learn in class was going to be applicable in the real world, and as it turns out, in that class, she had the opportunity to do some work for a customer. I believe they were doing some advertising work for a screen printing shop in town. She had to use some uh, graphic design tools to be able to create the website, the large advertisement, and the posters for this company. And when she graduated, she moved down to Florida and one of the positions that she interviewed for allowed her the opportunity to use some of those knowledge and skills in her new job environment. In the United States Army, uh, Military Science Department is looking to be able to pr create lieutenants in the United States Army. There are 16 different career fields for, uh, for an Army lieutenant. Not everybody has to be an infantryman or an armorman. They could be a pilot, uh, be in aviation, engineers, a uh, chemical officer. You could be a media relations officer. Uh, all, a logistics officer. All of these different uh, career fields is that anything you can see out in the civilian sector is also replicated in the United States Army. And so we encourage people to identify what they want to do and what kind of person they are to be able to pursue which career they want. My hope for the future is that eventually we are all on the same page, not just within the college, but also the university, that we're all thinking and doing and talking about integrative learning, from administrators to faculty to staff to students. And that ultimately, we hear students using that language of integrative learning, that they're using the term integrative learning, and that they're understanding what we mean by connections and reflections, and that that's getting mirrored back to us. I mean, to me, that would be really the ultimate reward for us. Thank you.